Good evening brothers and sisters, hope everyone's well, hope everyone's had a nice weekend. I want to thank everybody who tuned into the fight and showed support, you know, it means a lot. I've had a great weekend, it's good to be back in the saddle as it is. <clears throat> to put on a performance like that against David Round, who's known for his chin, known for his toughness and his durability, you know, and to, to get him out of there in the first round like that was, uh, you know, it was a godsend. Thank God, you know, and I feel brilliant. The biggest difference for me in this fight was my spiritual condition, you know, and. Not one for giving advice really, but I would advise anybody in any sport or any profession or any walk of life to, you know, enrich their spirituality. Whatever God you serve, whatever power you serve, be it God, Allah, Muhammad, Buddha, Karma, the universe, it doesn't matter. If you have undying faith and you always have something you can turn to no matter what your life is like no matter what your life situation good bad ugly better worse indifferent it doesn't matter the more faith you have the better your life will be yeah the physical training's part of it it's only a small part of it the physical work in the gym and all the hours of training be lucky if it makes up 20% of the overall picture. Spiritual condition. That's what counts. When you know you are connected to a higher power, believe me, it makes all the difference in all avenues of your life. <clears throat> so a massive thank you to everybody. Praise God. <clears throat> what a thank David Round for being such a gentleman and such a good sportsman you know I've got love for David Round he was playing a few mind games and you know he's a, he's a hundred fight veteran and he's been around a long time and nobody's ever done that to him I'm glad he was okay and I'm glad he was fine you know and he didn't come out of there in one piece because I hit him with some bombs that first left hook, right hand, left hook combination, I was very surprised he got up. I was even more surprised he got up after the second knockdown. And yeah, the referee was right to call it off because I was just getting started. And once I find my range like that, you know, we knew that David Round, he hangs about in the dead space. He's always there to be hit, you know, and, and I can fight Southpaw, but I can only fight Southpaw. I can't box Southpaw, you know, I'm heavy handed. I can hit with both hands, but the speed and the accuracy was there. You know, speed kills. Left the weights alone, didn't do any weights at all in this camp. I wasn't eating meals every two hours to try and be a bulked up 185. -er. You know, I come in at my natural weight, which was, well, the fight was at 180 and I weighed 178 or something. And uh, it was easy, it wasn't a cut. So, I have vacated my light heavyweight title. There's some excellent names in the running and some worthy fighters to compete for that title. But I'm off down to middleweight. I want the best fighters in the UK at middleweight. And, you know, my goal is to be the first UK two-weight champion. So let's just see how it goes. Um, yeah, Dave, massive love and respect for David Brown. Listen, he couldn't have took it any better. He certainly took his loss a lot better than I did, you know, and I give him credit for that because uh, he's a gentleman and a sportsman and a fighting man and a working man and a family man. You know, what's not to respect about him? He gave me all the credit in the world. And, you know, on another night, if we ran it back, David Brown could have been capable of doing that to me, but just not on that night. You know, that was my night. Doesn't matter what your experience, power, skill, all that stuff is irrelevant. The best man on the night, that's always the winner. 
whoever's got it right up here, that's always your winner. You know, David Round's been pushing for that fight for over a year. He's been hounding the promotion and hounding me, and we've had some we've had some laughs on the run up to that fight. But you know, it's it's one of life's lessons because I know all about it. I know all about wanting something too much. You know, we in life as people we can want something too much, and when God eventually delivers it and it lands on your lap, sometimes you find. You weren't quite ready for what you've been asking for. So be careful what you wish for. I know all about that. So like I say, massive love and respect to David Round. Big shout out to the BKFC, all my sponsors. You know, thank you so much. And all the fighters who took part last night, you know, what a card. What a card. What a night of action. You know, I'll do some breakdowns in a day or two. But I just wanted to come on here and congratulate everybody that took part in the event. The first televised event on a massive sporting network. Yeah, on a, on a big sporting platform, you know, and uh, what a buzz, you know, what a buzz. There's nothing like it. So, you know, thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. And um, speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.